Hello guys, Mysterious Cat Island, back with more Let's Play Wild Arms. In the last episode we got to the Guardian Shrine and everyone's sort of facing their demons and uh, a little early for that in game, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, we just finished Rudy and Jack's little scenario, so let's go on with Cecilia. Ugh, there we go. Her music isn't quite as sad as the other guys. I'm just guessing. There we go. And I think it's this one this time. Nope, I was wrong. It's pushing blocks! It's riveting, isn't it? Now it's this should be this time. Yep. Like I said, this is... Hmm. This way. Yeah, theirs relied on their tools. Cecilia's doesn't. Whoa! Uh, uh, yeah, we should be back here already. Dude, she got a lot going on. Give her a break. Oh, that's upsetting. Oh, I mean, they're not wrong. <laughs> Whoa, that's not cool. I'm sure that wasn't the case. We're having a persona, f we're having a persona moment here. Um. It's a really bad reason to accept an adventure, but okay. No, I mean, it's not a bad thing to want some sympathy in life. Oh, Cecilia, baby, it's okay. That's not true. Well, uh... That was, hmm, upsetting. Everybody got problems. And now Voices is talking to us. Ah, the Guardians. Hey, we just went through some shit. Stop talking shit about us. Uh, I don't see that you guys have a whole lot of a choice. Uh, they're f they fucking suck is what's going on. The anger and rage. I mean, Jack's not wrong. They kind of got thrown into all this and shit. Whoa, okay. Silly dragon guy. You're the guardian of Earth, but you got an ice back. Alright. Moa Galt, the fire guardian. Well, I mean, it's also human, so... That's great, then why the fuck did she choose me? See, if you, and I'm going to sound old here, ever watch an anime called Fushigi Yugi, uh, you know that there are the um, the cardinal gods, basically. Uh, Seryu, Suzaku, uh, Genbu, and shit. Byakyo. Byakyo. Uh, Byakyo was a wind tiger. Uh, Seryu was a... Blue Serpent? I think he was supposed to be Earth. It's really hard to remember. It's been a long time. Uh, Suzaku was a Firebird. Genbu was a uh, Turtle Dragon. Who was supposed to be Water. It's it's, uh, it's been a while. But, I mean, it's, it's referenced in regular Chinese mythology, too. It's not, it's not just from an anime.
But that's, I'm pretty sure, what the inspired these guys. Bitch, we sad! Give us a break! You and your pecs. Yeah, Jack hears you talking shit. Yeah, everybody's having a fucking midlife crisis here. So we're gonna torment you instead! Uh, they're the fucking gods, Cecilia. Come on, man. Oh. Well, I guess that makes things awkward. Awkward. Cool. Uh, probably to destroy the world. Oh, you know, right there. Ow. Shit. Ah, oh, fucking great. Fantastic. Why is everybody gonna, like, spin around when they say something? I don't know. The mother. Uh, yeah, we don't have a whole fuck ton of a choice right now. Well, at least Jack has some pep in his step. Well, yeah. Then hurry up, guys. Come on. I'm sorry? Cool. Now, you get these guardian forces. Uh, you get these guardians. There are a ton others throughout the course of the game to get. Some of which are missable. Um... But we'll, we'll get to them as the time comes. There's a lot of them, so. Yeah. Yeah, how are we gonna get there? Well, how about you tell us? That's bullshit. Sorry for the flashing, guys. I forgot that there was quite so much of it in this scene. We what? Don't fucking fade away before you get to tell me the whole thing. Well, everybody's sad and hurt. Fantastic. So what battle? You must prevent her from doing something. Gerda Jeff. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna call him Jeff. Jeff. Okay. I mean, they got a point, though. Yeah, we did stuff. Hooray! He scanned this area with his mind! Okay. Because that's not ridiculous. I like Lady Harkin. The Duke's Mansion. Well, I mean, it was a only matter of time. Is he wrong, though? We kind of have a world to defend. It's not much of one, though. Ugh, this creeper. Ugh. I don't like him.
It's Belsec. Belsec? Belsec. There we go. Okay, put your fight boner away. Come on. Lady Harkin, your demons, you're all about destruction. Oh my god, that is... That's a really surreal spelling of newbie, though. The Quarter Knights! Or with a whole dollar altogether. Sorry, that was a really dumb joke. <laughs> Yeah. Pretty sure they're meant to represent the elements too, just like in a weird way. Ugh, yeah, goodbye, weird ugly dog thing. No. You guys are evil. Evil uh, invariably all has their own... Their own shit going on. Oh, you can hear the heartbeat. Yeah. Mm. At least it didn't throw us on the ground. The song here is nice, too. got teleported. Yeah, we can't, you know, let her be revived. I mean, not exactly, but okay. It's more the being dragged around by the Guardians part that I'm resenting. Three stone slabs. They're the runes! You can equip these, they give you stat boosts. We'll go over that in a second. We already had the water rune, so. But they allow you to summon, so. Okay, so uh, they dumped us in a fucking forest, which is great. Uh, let's go ahead and equip some runes. So... I'm probably gonna give Jack the fire rune for strength and aptitude. Um, although the earth rune... The earth. The earth rune is good for him too. Uh, whoops, nope. Rudy will probably get the earth rune. And, uh, resistance. I don't use the wind rune all that often. I'm probably going to keep the water rune on Cecilia, because that's the one that ups her sorcery, which makes her magic more powerful. So, all right, now that all that BS is done, I say BS, head up to this little village here. This is Basker Village. And the song here is the one I love, is one of my favorites in the game. Um, so these people are meant to be native style. Like very much Native American style. Which, uh, hasn't really aged well. Well, that's good. I haven't used any of it. Ha! Huh. Let's see. There's all sorts of shit here in town. We can, uh, bust open and take. I don't remember what. But yeah, these, uh... A little insensitive, maybe. I'm sure the heart no harm was meant. But, uh, it does not mean it's aged well. Like old westerns, you know? Hello! He will sell us herbs. This stuff. It's the same stuff you already have. If you need stuff, buy it. Come on, Doug. A heal berry, I'll take it. 
I'll sell you a hillberry, or you can find one out back. Mount Zenom. Oh, I mean, I guess that's fair. Oh. Hmm. Okay. I'm sure there's nothing weird about him holding a piece of an evil soul or anything. Oh, magic carrot. We want that. When are you gonna stop breaking crates? Never. When they stop putting stuff in them. Actually, there's a uh, tool you get for Rudy later that will uh, allow you to locate treasure more easily. Uh, no, I don't. Would you please tell me? Oh. I mean... The new moon. Weird. Creepy. Um... But I mean, lots of ancient peoples did that. And I mean, I know you guys are meant to be a little more primitive, which again, didn't age well. That's fine. Wish they had, uh... Yeah, another healberry. Maybe, uh... Fictionalize this a little more and less stereotypical. But, uh, I mean, what, do you, what can you do now? This game's like 20 years old. Oh my god, it's more than 20 years old. This came out in 1996 in the US. It's 23 years old. Well, that's very nice. You don't look like everybody else here. Dude, security's probably tight for a reason. Maybe it's sacred and some shit. Dude. That's not cool. Don't be Indiana Jones. Yeah, let me see what you got. Ooh, a Claymore, a Vopal, a Vopal Razor. I think it's supposed to be a Vorpal Razor, but, uh, you know, translation things. And a Prism Stick. And things I can't afford! Fantastic! Uh, we're gonna start with the Razor for Jack. Yes. Uh, let's sell the Might Blade. We don't really need that. Don't sell your Crest Crafts. Never sell your Crest Crafts. Uh, I will probably go off screen and do some grinding because, uh, whew, we need some new equipment. Sir, get out of my way. I want to bust open these crates. I'll hit you with one. Let's see, there's kind of somebody in particular we're looking for, but, uh, eh, you know. He's here somewhere. Okay. Ah, but not the return to nature. A little bit different, I suppose. I mean, I'm not... Ah, it's a bird! Hello, bird. Ooh, I miss these guys. Give me your stuff. Ah, nothing. Fantastic. Have I talked to this guy yet? Sir. That's great. Seems like a really nice place here. More people to talk to. Ah, where is your chief? Well, that's good. You haven't resigned yourself to pacifism entirely. Oh. I talked to you. Oh, yeah, I have. Let's see. Where is the chief? He's here somewhere. Was this his house? Nope. I think we've talked to her. Oh, yeah, we have. Burp, 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 burp. Yep, yep, yep. New moon. Watching and judging. You know, we're gonna switch over to Rudy. Jack's distracting me. I know that sounds bad, but, uh, he blends in a little bit, so... Aha! Who are you? 
Oh, that's dumb. Oh, thank you. That's very kind. I mean... I can't say I'd blame you. Item shop, we've been there. You know, if I checked the places more methodically, we, uh, we'd probably find the chief by now, but, uh... I'll do what I want. I think, actually, he's in this house here. Oh, big puppo! Oh! He doesn't even bark at ooze. Uh, yeah, let's stay the night. Hell, why the fuck not? Oh, I want to dream of Big Puppo. Look at him, he's so big! Okay. <laughs> Hello. Uh, that seems strange, but okay. Yeah, what you got? Give me the tea. Yup. Ah, oh, yeah. They said it had a piece of something evil, right? An evil spirit? Wonder if part of that's mother. Ah, oh, I guess that's why they destroyed the uh, statue in Adelheid. It seems like tearing it into more than three probably would have been better. Cool. I guess we have our next objective. You are the colors of Zephyr, the west wind of hope. Ooh. The wind colors altar. Cool. Let's, um... Let's see if we can go ahead and do that now. Think that's up here? Yeah. And summon the west wind. Oh. Yes, figure that out. I mean, didn't he just say what I said last at the last two episodes? Maybe the fact that people don't believe in it anymore is the reason they're not strong anymore? That's a pretty common theme with, um... Fantastical belief systems? I can't remember who's it. I can't remember the name of the writer. Um, but he does a series of books where if there's enough beliefs, a person can become a god. Things like that. I mean... But gods have to have people who believe in them in order to hold their power. Cool, I came up here for nothing. Great. Got anything else? That's fair. Okay, well, in the next episode, we're going to go to Mount Zenom. Um, I can't want to call it Zenom. Or Zimom. Weird shit. I don't know. Um, but we'll go there next episode. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye!